Hello, Regal Ghost and Goblin! It is me. And today, please excuse the trumpet in the background, but that is my sister. But I have a doll that I seen Saturday, and I didn't have money to get her. And I was kind of sad, um, because it was the first time I've ever seen her. But when I went to Walmart today with my mom, we found her and I'm so happy because at first I didn't really like this doll until I seen other people get this doll and like put her in different outfits and stuff and then I was like yeah I like this doll and the doll that I have is Casta Pierce ah! so 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 happy um, as you can see, her letters are sparkly, and then you have this beautiful picture of her right here, singing into her, um, broomstick, uh, microphone, and then we get Monster High on the side, oh, excuse me, I'm tired, and then here's a bigger picture of the lovely Casta. And then I will slowly put this a little bit closer so you can read. Please pause if you'd like to. All right. Let's see, PFFs with Caddy Noir and Operetta. Um, pets, I don't have a pet because I don't think they could stand constantly be asked. Oh, how cute. Was this a fan of yours? Um, killer style, I like a lot of buckles and straps, crisscrossed over black and purple fashions flashed with glitter. Alrighty then. Let's open her up and let me show you her at least halfway out of the box. Hopefully. Here is her out of the main box. As you can see she has some uh, girls in the background on guitar and drums. And then here's her lovely face. And there's her book. Her shoes are gorgeous. Here is a close up on her face for right now. I really, really like this doll. Yeah, I like this doll. Alrighty, I'm going to get her out of the packaging and we shall return to see how lovely Casta really is in real life. So, alrighty guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye! Yeah, we are back! And I have the lovely Casta right here. But first we're going to go over her accessories. She comes with a broomstick microphone stand. Um, it's hollow at the bottom. But it's sturdy. It can stand by itself. Um, and it has little like belts around this part. And then you can take off the broom part if you want. And just have the stick. Um, and the stick has th four ribbons. Two orange, two black. The black is... Um, like a slightly glittery um, tool and then the orange is just an orange ribbon with a silver buckle and then you have the microphone which does come off and she can hold it but I'm just gonna have her microphone stand hold it for now And it kind of just looks like a like a part of a witch's wand or something. 
She comes with a brush. She comes with a stand. That's how she's standing. It's just the plain black one we've seen in a million times before. Here is her book. The front cover. Here is the back. It says one night only at Monster High. And then it's like some poster-ish stuff. With some uh, sketches of her. Air getting stronger, magic in, magic in the air, stronger and stronger. Still I got a... Still I gotta wait a little longer, longer. That's what the words in the background say. And then we go over to this um, musical notey page and then the, her portrait in multicolors. And then lastly we got this which is pretty cool. And it's just that's the end of the book. It's just kind of like a little uh, a lookbook, a uh, fashion-y sketch journal book thing. Kind of. Sort of. Uh, anyway, here's Casta. Now let's start with her hair. Here's the end of her dress, and here's the end of her hair. Her hair is so long, and it has a purple and an orange streak. Can you see that? And then she has this little bump on top, which is just like that. So I wouldn't try to take her hair down, because it's a little complicated. Um, it's so super soft. Her hair is softer than almost any Monster High doll I've ever had, ever. Like, I really can't think of a Monster High doll off the top of my head that might be nicer than her hair. Her hair is so nice. Well, the only gel part is um, the front part, but that's to be expected. Her ears are pointy, almost like an elf, and they have just little spike balls like uh, maces. And then here is her lovely face with her, um, not dark purple, but like a light lab like a dark neon purple that makes sense lipstick and then her eyeshadow is purple and gold she has her beauty mark and then she has a little lightning bolty thing on this side let me sit her so she can so I can hold her better already um her shoulders have these little cage things which um not sure how you take them off actually, I didn't really look. Okay, can you see? It has those little plastic clips right here and here. You see that? That just hold it on. Uh, and then the sleeves of her dress are the orange. And then right here, this little black part right there, you see? right under her little cage. This part right here is like a false leather. And... And then her purple, her orange dress goes into a purple, um, a kind of semi-ombres. Because it does the little speckles and then it, then it just turns into pure purple. And then she has a belt around the bottom in a mermaid style dress with a studded belt. And then it has like two two layers of this heavy, thick uh, tool with a lot of glitter. Um, her wrists hold a silver bracelet and then a purple spike bracelet. And then this arm has a fishnet armband and a purple um, spike bracelet like on her other hand. And I don't know how well you'll see on camera, but her nails are pretty long. She has longer nails like uh, the werecats do.
and then finally we get down to her feet which are very spiky and then it has a belt and then a belt and the toes are slightly pointed and they look like they zipper up the side can you see like the like the false zipper design right there these are probably some of the most practical monster high shoes I've seen in a while <laughs> but at the same time they're still pretty cool because I know a lot of uh, like Claudine's shoes and um, some of like the fancier shoes are a little impractical. Um, like uh, Scara in her Twilight outfit for um, whatchamacallit. Those shoes are kind of pra practically. But anyhow, this is Casta, and I gotta say, I really like her. Um, I kinda can't wait until I undress her, which will probably be a while, and I'll probably start taking pictures of her with different outfits on. Because that's where I really fell in love with her, with other people's posts on Tumblr, of her dressed in different outfits. Um, that's what made me fall in love with her. I mean, I don't, I like this outfit, but I don't know, I wasn't sold on the face until I seen her in different outfits. And I was like, oh, okay, I can do that. But, here is my Casta. She is gorgeous. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you find her if you want her. Um, check Walmart. That is where the only place I think she's showing up at right now. Um, For most people. But, um, Target, you know, still, Toys R Us. No, Elastic found her at Toys R Us. So look at Toys R Us and Walmart. I don't think Target's supposed to have them in yet. But I could be lying to you, so. Anyway, Walmarts and Toys R Us are the only places I've heard of people finding her. So leave a comment down below if you found her. And bye!